about uh, shuaka, which is bitter leaf. We call it uh, in uh, in Nigeria, and they call it uh, olubu. The people call it shuaka. The Muslim, the Auza, they call it shuaka. We in our own vernacular, we call it kere. Kere, ahanya tsere kere in the bari. Bondo namke bari zin the ngome kere ba. I will put you on my screen. Then you see how I was consuming the bitter leaf. When namke bari, then kabuni tsong ngome kere na zin abe ba mono kwe na kere na zangariti. Mama gua njagada kaka bega kwe tete namfuno banga me wando niere re niere wo niere re niere wo an kere kenge jang awa wimu bongo ande kere wako akazina de mateja no we maji waga re usio uliami we continue kwenye liami because ada gaga inkoraje chana ya zis so I was talking about we were talking about bitali bitter bitali here in Africa bitali grow here we cultivate it but not in large quantity and it grow wildly. In most places, it has been grown in some Asian countries, in some Indian places, in some North America, Central America. Bitter leaves have been consuming for centuries now as foods, but we don't know the medicinal value of bitter leaves. And uh, here in Africa, we have the sweet bitter leaf. We have uh, the bitter bitter leaf. We have the two types. The bitter bitter leaf is called the Veronia amygdalina, Why the sweet one is called the Veronia advoria. There are two different species. You can show them around the bitter leaf, how it's growing around the farm. So you can show them the bitter leaf. So we have two different, different species. But the one I am talking about today, this is the part two on the same bitter leaf. We have talked about the part one on the other video. So this is the part two on the same bitter leaf. If you want to take care of all, maybe anybody with any kind of bacteria infection, because bitter leaf, you see, it contains anti, it get antibacterial properties. It contains anti-inflammatory properties. It kills bacteria into the body. It prevents you from getting bacteria. Anybody with such a problem, maybe infections, and infections can be caused by the environment we live, the kind of food we eat, and the kind of bathroom and the kind of toilet we visit on daily basis. So those things can easily cause a bacterial infections. So we advise you that if you want to treat any kind of infection, whether candidiasis, whether syphilis, whether chlamydia, whether E. coli, staphylococcus bacteria, you want to treat such a problem, you are going to use bitter leaves. So keep on watching the video. After this part, uh, part two, we'll be coming up with the part three, the roots of the bitter leaf, on how to use the roots of bitter leaf with neem tree, neem roots, neem tree, the roots of neem tree, to treat high pass infection. Anybody with high pass infection. We want to treat high pass infection. We are coming out with a more video, so keep on watching our channel. But in today we are going to talk about this general infection, whether gonorrhea infection, whether staphylococcus bacteria. You want to treat E. coli, chlamydia infection. You want to use bitter leaf to take care of such a problem. And bitter leaf here is a common plant. We consume it all daily basis. We use it for soup, we use it for vegetables, we use it on daily basis. So we advise you that even though you are not here consuming bitter leaf as a medicines, consume it as food. Because when you consume it as food, it will help to treat all these things I'm talking about here. So in today's video, we are coming up to talk about uh, on how to use bitter leaf to treat an infection. Maybe. You want to treat candidiasis, you get the soft head, the tender heads from the bitter leaves. You get the tender ones, the soft ones, the tender heads from the bitter leaf. At least three tender heads from bitter leaf, if you are going to chew it, you can always wash the three tender heads of the bitter, bitter leaf. You want to treat candidiasis, maybe staphylococcus bacteria, maybe E. coli, chlamydia infections general infections you want to take care of that problem you are going to just wash it when you wash the three virgin heads of the bitter leaf you wash up the three virgin heads of the bitter leaf you are going to wash them up now you chew it in the morning early in the morning you drink water after chewing if you cannot chew the way I am chewing, you are going to wash bitterly the way they, are, they used to wash bitterly. 
you filter the water out from the bitter leaf. 150 milliliters, which is a half glass cup. Then you add natural honey to your taste. You drink in the morning, it's very bitter, but you have to consume it because maybe you want to take care of, you want to prevent bacteria from coming in your body because it contains antibacterial properties, anti-oxygen properties, anti-inflammatory properties, and it kills bacteria in the body. And you have to protect you from getting bacteria. So they say, there is a saying that prevention is better than cure. So what are you going to do? When you chew it, you drink in the morning, you chew it, the three virgin head, you drink water in the morning, then you chew in the evening, you drink water. Continue the chewing morning, night, morning, night. When you chew it before 14 days, cantidizing syphilis, but if you cannot chew it, squeeze out the water, have a glass cup, you add honey to your taste because of the bitter taste of the bitter leaf. You have to add natural honey because some people don't want like bitter things. Then you drink in the morning, in the evening, have a glass cup, which is 150 milliliters. Do it morning, night for 14 days. Maybe bacterial infection, candidiasis, syphilis, chlamydia, any kind of bacterial infection. We African, we are blessed with plenty, but we hunger in the midst of plenty. Why? Because we run away from nature, we run away from our culture, we run away from our tradition. We consume bitter leaf as vegetable on daily basis, we consume it as food on daily basis. And it contains all the vitamins that you need. It gives blood into the body, it purifies the blood, it detoxifies the entire system and it helps to empower a new system. Even though you are not sick, there is a need for you to consume bitter leaf on daily basis for, for you to be healthy. So keep on watching our video. We are coming out with the part three on the same bitter leaf on how to treat high pass infection with the roots. So keep on watching. Make sure you share to friends and family. Drop a comment below at the comment section what you think about African foods, what you think about African medicines, African tradition. Keep on watching our video subscribe to our channel click up the notification button so that when we drop a video like this you can always be notified and drop a comment below at the comment section drop a comment below at the comment section your testimony on consuming beta leaf for infection you are free drop the comment at the comment section what you think about beta leaf we farm africa we farm ghana <laughs>